Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. The four types of operant conditioning seem easy enough to keep straight when you read them from a book, but when you start to apply them to situations, Sometimes it can be tricky to see which one is which. I think the key to not getting confused is understanding exactly what we're talking about when we compare reinforcement with punishment and positive versus negative. Let's start off with talking about the difference between positive and negative. Positive means we're applying a stimulus. A stimulus is added. Negative means a stimulus is removed or it's taken away. For instance, giving a cookie would be adding a stimulus. Ringing a bell would be adding a stimulus. An example of removing a stimulus would be maybe you remove someone's dessert that they typically have after a meal, or maybe you remove their privileges of going out after 9 o'clock. Right, so these are various examples of positive versus negative. Right? So it's very important to keep straight that we're talking about stimuli being added or removed. Now let's talk about reinforcement versus punishment. Reinforcement, we're trying to increase a positive behavior, a behavior that is desirable, that we want to see more of. For instance, maybe you want to train your dog to go to the bathroom outside. That's a desirable behavior. Whereas punishment, you're trying to decrease the frequency of an undesirable behavior. Maybe peeing inside is the problem with your dog, right? So you want to encourage him to not pee inside. And notice that it's all about the framing of the question. It's all about the framing of the situation. If I describe the situation in terms of I want the dog to go outside to go to the bathroom, that's reinforcement. If I want the dog to not pee inside, if that's the way I'm framing that scenario, you need to think about it as punishment because I'm trying to stop something that's not desirable. So think about reinforcement versus punishment as being a desirable behavior versus an undesirable behavior. Now, let's combine these pieces of terminology together and go through some examples. First of all, we have positive reinforcement. In this case, we're applying a stimulus to increase the frequency of a desirable behavior. An example of this would be giving your dog a treat every time he goes to the bathroom outside. Negative reinforcement is when you remove a stimulus in order to increase the frequency of a desirable behavior. For instance, every time your dog doesn't go to the bathroom outside, you play this really annoying ringing sound that's very high-pitched and drives your dog crazy. But every time the dog does go outside, you don't do that. So you're removing a stimulus that the dog doesn't like in order to get him to continue doing good behaviors. Now let's talk about punishment. Positive punishment is where you're applying a stimulus to decrease the frequency of an undesirable behavior. An example of this would be if your dog pees on the carpet, you take your dog and you put them in their kennel for an hour. In contrast, negative punishment is where you remove a stimulus to decrease the frequency of undesirable behavior. Maybe every time your dog goes to the bathroom, you give them a treat. But if they pee on the carpet, you're not going to give them that treat. You're basically taking away this typical stimulus they get if they're doing the undesirable behavior. With that understanding in mind, let's take a second look at the question stem. Every time you play your drum set really loud, your neighbor comes and knocks on the door to tell you to stop playing so loud. Which of the following operant conditioning terms is this an example of? Think about it in its two parts. Is this a desirable behavior? No. Your neighbor does not want this behavior. It is undesirable for you to play so loud. Therefore, you can eliminate answer choices C and D because reinforcement deals with a positive behavior, a good behavior. So now, we need to decide between positive and negative. And remember, positive is where you add a stimulus. Negative is where you remove a stimulus. In this case, we're adding the stimulus of your neighbor coming over and yelling at you. So that's going to be the addition of a stimulus, so we're dealing with positive punishment, not negative punishment. And think about this. Is punishment ever a, a positive thing emotionally? No. These, the terms positive and negative in this case are not referring to good versus bad. They're referring to the addition versus subtraction of a stimulus. That's very, very important to keep straight here. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, 
Feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10 minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.